Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Regardless of wherever part of the world you might be listening to me from or watching this video from, you are highly welcome and highly favored. My name is Alino Nochivazo from the e-announcement unit at the RCCD throne in Paris. This video you are about to watch will bless your soul and edify your spirit. Please kindly ensure that you like and share to others so they can be blessed as well. Now let's get right into today's message. Hallelujah. There's a beauty that is coming out of that situation. And the width of glory that exceeds every pain. Every situation, every pain, every affliction. The weight of glory. There's a weight of glory that is coming out that cannot be compared to what you are going or you are going through. This also shall work for your good. And God Almighty will be glorified. I also speak to us as a nation. God Almighty will be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Please help me put your hands again together. And I appreciate the King of Glory. Hallelujah. Now, something happened to me because there's a faith that makes well. It's a faith that makes well. In the midst of this financial storm, You know, other nations too are facing the same thing. I'm going through some severe situations. Life is also happening to them that way. And life is happening to us this way. But one thing I want you to know. Is that. Please stand by faith. The Bible says, by faith ye stand. It goes again and says, having done all, stand thee therefore. Faith. There's a faith that makes well. Hallelujah. Every other thing will pass away, but the judge of the word of God shall never pass away. Those who are standing by faith, who are standing upon the word of God, I tell you what, just keep standing. Because all these situations will lose their grips. <laughs> May I say to someone, even in the way it is well. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I had an experience which I shared in morning service. I'd like to share it. Um, the business was growing and then I had to, you know, open up another branch of business then, put our court. So, Thinking of going to put our court, you know, just move bent like that. And one day, you know, many things happening at the same time. The church now started. And, you know, church work, you must attend to church work. The church will never grow, you must tend it. You must tend it. So I was thinking, what do I do? So, and I gave church my total attention. You know, God was helping us. And um, in the course of time, one day I just got home and I <laughs> saw my daughter and her brother, you know, they just playing. I said, ah, What's happening? Why are your results? You pull up clothes, bring your results. It was my daughter that said, Daddy. They said you have not paid the school fees. So they didn't give us a result. She thought it was funny. 
But that was highly embarrassing. So I said, school fees. And I called the school. How much was it? I think about $2,000. Between $2,000 to $4,000. I said, ah, this happened. You know, I said, $2,000. I don't have $2,000. I said, this church work is distracting me. At this point, no. I called the office. I said, we have not paid. I said, what, what, what's happening? We didn't have the money. So I went and met my wife and, and said to her, I'm through with this church business. This church is just a distraction to me. But as soon as I said that, I told her I'm going to disengage. As soon as I said that, something pricked my heart. And then she said to me, Deepis, what did you say again to me? You said to me, if we leave, and what did you say to me? I said, if we leave God's work, church, yeah. where will we go? Where will we go, yes. To this church work, now where are we going to go? Where, where, where will we go? So, but that thing pricked my heart for saying that. You know? And then, life continued, not up to two weeks. I got a message got a message from one of my um, someone that my wife had just met once. Just once. And this family, they are not in any way within the sphere of uh, engagements. Not a member of the church. Don't even live in Abuja. Had never met them. Never met them. Had never met them. They called and said to her, please, do you have a daughter? I said, yes. That the Lord spoke to me that we should give your daughter 100% scholarship. Now, 100% scholarship? Don't clap it. You will soon, you will soon clap. We can do small now. The result is better for later. So I said, 100% scholarship. At that time, you know, she was still very young and I was thinking, I didn't want this girl to leave. And she mentioned the name of the school, in Ibadan. Huh, in Ibadan. What was the name of the school? Life Fort. Life Fort. Then I remember that I had one of my friends, the doctor, who was always trying to make people know that his children were going to that school. He said, do you know Life Fort? Do you know? I said, I don't know Life Fort. I'm a Malo man, I grew up in the north. So, you know, so jokes like that. And then we delayed. Then a week or so, a week, two weeks, close to um, resumption. I took my daughter, went there. My God, I saw the standard of the school unmatched. I'm telling you the truth. Wonderful school. So he's going to spend six years here. So everything taken care of. Then I went into the uh, office of the proprietress of the school. And she saw me and said, who are you? I, I introduced myself. My wife also came along. And my wife went out of discussing with people and then she said to me, ha ha, so you came. I was wondering, what is happening? So you came? Say, so you came? She said to me that the Lord spoke to me concerning this issue. For your daughter, I should pay, I mean, she should put on a scholarship 100%. And since I did not see you, I had to go back to God and ask him, God, am I not hearing you again? Don't I know your voice? Because this is what you said. He said, your coming has confirmed it. He said, really? So we did everything. Went to the school, fantastic school. Got all the details, documentation. What about documentation? I saw what we'll be paying for six years. 25 million naira. At that time, when dollar was just one to 200 or 200, I mean, many years ago. I was wondering, I didn't have $2,000. I 
But now, see 25,000, 25 million to take care of this girl. And I tell you, when it comes to academic performance, I didn't know much about schools. You can go and check it out. Top, top, top. When it comes to values, top, top, top. Excellence everywhere. So I seen this is the governor's son. This is the governor of the son. That is the minister's son. This is the palm sex daughter. In school, I was wondering. This thing broke me. I couldn't believe that God was so detailed that he had to speak to someone who cared to hear. Someone I did not know were not connected, not related, never met me. And said this was what God told her. Today, my girl is big. She's a big girl now. Finished and all that. University. But it almost broke me. I said, God, you are mindful of me. Then he taught me some things. But I will share with you. The first thing is that we are called to live by faith. It says, the just shall live by faith, not by sight. I beg you, please, take your eyes off the exchange rate. Things are happening, but you don't live by sight by what you see. You live by faith. You live by the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Number two, he taught me that my God indeed shall supply all my needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, not according to my bank account. Not according to my domiciliary account. The Lord God Almighty shall supply all your needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And that encapsulates all. That glorious dimension can never be exhausted. You can exhaust your bank account. You can suffer from fatigue. Your account can suffer from fatigue. But the glorious riches, oh my God, that is what produces all what you see. Number three, it taught me how not to be anxious. So he said, be anxious for nothing. So many of us are anxious. What am I going to do? 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 Yeah, just put in, you, it will increase your stress. So I said, I worked, but worked as I said, how am I going to do? It's not according to your calculations. Because your calculations will fail. How many of us know that just within a couple of weeks and days, things just changed? Even those who have big money in their account now, their money, the value of money has been sliced into two. Perhaps God wants to humble them too. How many of us understand what I'm saying? So that we begin to live by faith. Hallelujah. 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 It tells me and you and teaches us that no situation, no matter how bad it is, can submerge you. No matter how intense it is, 
The situation can never submerge you. Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 1 to 5. It says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called you by name, thou art mine. It says, When thou pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When that walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame of the fire kindle upon thee. He says, for I am the Lord thy God, the only one of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. He says, since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for your life. That is how, oh my God, oh my God, that is God's, oh oh my God, oh my God. Do you understand that? God can give a nation just because of you. God can slaughter many just because of you. That is the kind of value that you command. No wonder why he says that, that we have not been redeemed with corruptible things like silver and gold. We have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus by his life. May I say unto someone here, God values you. Hallelujah. I say you are valued in the name of Jesus Christ. He will not allow any nonsense to happen to you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. When you are going through the waters, when you are going through the fire of economic crunch, uh, he says what? That fire will not burn you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. That fire will not kindle upon you. He said, I will be with you. Therefore, he says, fear not. Do not be afraid. It tells me also that God causes all things to work together for my good. He makes all things, even this seemingly unpleasant situation God Almighty will cause it to work for you he says for we know for we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord to them who are the called according to his purpose to whom he did for know this he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his dear son That he might be the firstborn amongst many brethren. To whom he foreknew, this he predestinated. To whom he predestinated, this he called. To whom he called, this he justified. To whom he justified, this he glorified. What more can we say to this? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that did not spare his son, but gave him up for us all. How not, oh my God, uh, with him also freely give us all things. Hallelujah. May I say unto someone here, in the precious name of Jesus, uh, you will not be put to shame. You will not be disgraced. You will not bow down your head in shame. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. 
you will not be reproached oh my god you will not be pitied you will not be a byword you will not end up a ridicule in the precious name of jesus christ if you believe it say yes lord yes lord yes lord all things work together for my good listen very carefully it was when i sat and i discovered something i said it was good i didn't have two thousand dollars because if i didn't have if i had two thousand dollars i would have missed 25 million naira. may i send to someone here oh my god see what joseph said to his brethren you meant it for evil for me but god did what turned it around for my good everything is turning around for your good the economic crunch is turning around for your good in the name of jesus it is turning around for the good of the nation in the name of jesus is turning around for your good he's turning around for your good all things working for your good to move you forward to move you upward to advance you to accelerate you in the precious name of jesus may i see unto someone here you will not bow down your head in shame because my god will not permit it to happen i will have been put to shame if not for god someone did not know i said to myself <laughs> some people still hear god how i said to myself so we have people who still hear god please anytime you see the olivia johnsons now i can declassify their names or declassify this issue please help me bless them life fought is a good my god if you see my daughter what they did to her there collected confident loves jesus she's the one that tell me oh daddy you have to pray you come on daddy you mean you took this apple did you pray i say okay god please bless this one also bless this one my, my stomach she, she's so i mean anyway you see the ruby john sings please bless them they are blessed forever people still hear god no relationship never knew them the last thing that i want us to know that god is faithful if you believe not the bible says he abided faithful he cannot deny himself second timothy 2 from verse 13 so if you believe that god is faithful he's faithful if you conclude that god is not faithful he's still faithful if you assume that god is unfaithful is faithful if you say it's faithful it's faithful so no matter your assumption your conclusions no matter this oh my oh my god no matter that school of thought no matter the expectations or the perspective in which you want to define him he remains faithful even if you don't believe it is there the scriptures can put it even if you don't believe it he remains faithful why he cannot deny himself even if you are unfaithful he remains faithful to you hallelujah hallelujah so it took me back 2008 remember the IMF and Dominic strauss -Kahn, the statement he made I remember that preaching I preached about it global economic meltdown Africa will be affected Nigeria will suffer listen very carefully do you know that many millionaires were made in this church during that time young people it came 
and passed as if we never went through any economic meltdown. But just like yesterday, gone. Ebola came. Oh, Nigeria will be finished. They don't have the medical structure and facility to be able to contain this. Ebola came and how many of us died of Ebola? COVID came. Everything they said, they said, there will be corpses, corpses, corpses on our streets. Lock down, lock everywhere down. And people who had the vaccines intentionally, we don't know why because the vaccines probably were not many, but we were not even generous to send some to us at that time. But see what God did. How many people died? You are still alive. You are alive. You are alive. You are alive. Your God is faithful. I say your God is faithful. He is dependable. This is the same God. Hallelujah. Who is in charge. Hallelujah. You are scaling through in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Help me say God is faithful. Now I'll say something. I want us to please see what Jesus says. He says that two sparrows are sold for just one farthing. One farthing with pens. In Nigeria, we don't have those coins anymore. Do you know what they call Sisi? Do you know what they call Toro? Please, what's the English name for that? Pens, right? When we do Sisi, right? Sometimes when somebody, a penny, the Nigerian penny. We have the Kobo, and then we have the smaller denomination, small, it's called a penny. It's the least. So I said, two sparrows have been sold for just one. One sissy. You know, sometimes those days, when some people come to meet you and say, uh, they come and meet you and say, and say to you, please, do you have money? You want to make them believe you don't have anything? Say, well, let's like sissy, bandishi. I remember what someone was saying. Sometimes, somebody said, please, can you please give him money? Me, give him money. Sissy, I'm not going to give to him. So he said, Sissy is sold two sparrows. Have you seen the picture of his sparrows? Beautiful bird. But it says that none of these ones will fall down without your father knowing. None. He knows everything. He's concerned about the details of your life. He goes again, he says, talks about the lily of the valley. He said, the lily and also the breast of the air like the sparrows, they, they don't sow. They don't go to farm and go and till. They don't toil. No, they don't. They don't even have bands. Where they say, and go and big store to store their food. He said, but your heavenly father keeps them. How, say, oh my God. He said, but you, you have much value than the sparrows. You have much value than just a bird. He said, do not be anxious of what you're going to wear. What am I going to eat? What is going to happen? He says, like, see the lilies. Please, can I, can I have a picture of the lilies? See how beautiful the, lily, the lilies are. See how beautiful it is. It says, Solomon, in all his wealth, does not have this kind of PR. See, see. See how beautiful, how adorned. They don't toil, they don't spin, they don't make clothing. But see how God has put this beauty on them. How much more you? God is faithful. This season will be the best season of your life. The greatest things that God will do that will culminate into something that will break boundaries will start this season in Jesus' mighty name. If you are the one that God is talking about, say a very big amen to that. Help me say, Father. Say you are faithful. Say you are faithful. You cannot fail me. God has not failed you and you will never fail in the precious name of Jesus Christ.
Just lift up your hands and just bless the Lord one more time, wherever you are. As we conclude the service very quickly. Up your voice and say, Father, I believe in you. Say, Father, my faith will not shift. Say, Father, strengthen me. What is our still waiting for? Go ahead and pray. Lift up your voices and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask him and say, Lord, help me. I know you are dependable. I know you are reliable. I know I can depend on you. You have never failed. You will never fail me. My God has failed for me. 